Open data is free public data that anybody can use and that can be used to start new businesses or new kinds of ventures, to do scientific research, to solve complex problems and to make better decisions. So a lot of open data comes from the government. It can be data about energy, education, finance, healthcare, any number of different things. And what we're seeing now is open data being used uh, in ways that really provide social good by helping consumers make better choices and that also can build new businesses that are profitable uh, and work with open data in, uh, in a business context. I think open data is going to have more and more of a profound effect in the years ahead. It may have a special effect on healthcare because as we open up more data about uh, the human genome and about uh, different kinds of treatments and how effective those treatments are, we could really transform medicine in some major ways. But I think it's also going to be helpful in adaptation to climate change, in energy regulation, in helping students find a college that will give them a better education and that they can afford at the same time. It will help our transportation systems by managing traffic flow and in many, many other ways. Uh, I think it's going to become more and more part of our lives and just part of the fabric of society in a very positive way. Uh, to me, open data is two things. One is its opportunity and the other one is freedom. I think open data gives us the opportunity to unleash the power of entrepreneurs, the power of governments, the power of ordinary people to take information, to take data and discover and create and build new and interesting things. Some of those new and interesting things will not work out and fail and some of those new and interesting things will change the world. Some of them will make life better, some of them will save lives. Some of them will create better little video games and some of them will just help us uh, save time when we're traveling on the roads or uh, avoid traffic. Uh, that's the first thing, open data is opportunity. The, the second thing is that open data is freedom. Uh, it is a leveler. Uh, in the past, only the elite few had access to this data, uh, but now it's available to any citizen to do with what as they like, which is sort of the essence of the future of freedom in, in, in many countries. Not just freedom of action, but freedom of information. My expectations are big, but realistic. There's a lot of sayings about how much money will be saved, what efficiencies will be created, but it's not going to happen tomorrow. What you generally find with a new economic paradigm or a new IT usage model is that there's a lot of hype initially, and then people try it and they're disillusioned, not because the technology doesn't work, but because society or business models are not yet ready to use it. But then things change, people evolve, things mature, then all of a sudden the technology takes off. So I think that probably over the next couple of years there'll be a bunch of experiments that fail, people will get disillusioned, but then something will happen, some idea will pop up, something will change, and it'll show people the way to how to actually make open data successful. And then eventually, in the long term, it will change the world. And for the technology industry, it will create great demand for new analytics, new services, new hardware, new software, and other things. And specifically for Taiwan, it gives a new innovation for Taiwan Inc., the computer industry, the manufacturing, the technology industry, to be part of something new, to be part of something innovative and to spark new growth. It'll be require Taiwan to act differently, think differently, do different things to capture this value, but I'm confident that they can change to make this happen. Uh, so open data, actually, you can provide a definition of open data. It's uh, actually in English, it's both a, a, a word, an action, and it's also a, a status. So um, it refers to uh, information, but which is uh, a specific kind of information, which is data, which is uh, in machine-readable formats and uh, which can be reused 
so used for other purposes than uh, the, the purposes uh, for which it was originally produced and uh, which could be reused uh, for free, so um, most of the time uh, free of charge. So that's, that's the definition of open data. So it's, uh, it's a policy uh, that could uh, be led by the government. It's also a strategy which could be also uh, applied by companies because it's also a support uh, for, for instance, open innovation, better circulation of um, the information within different departments of uh, the company. Um, it's also a source of more efficiencies. So um, actually, I could say also open data is also an attitude because becoming open, it's a huge uh, change in culture sometimes, but, uh, but there are a lot of benefits. Uh, so my expectations with open data, well, it's, uh, it's also a, a difficult question because you don't know what the future is, is made of. But uh, open data, what I can tell you is that from the French government perspective, um, we are um, strongly promoting and coordinating the open data policy because we are uh, targeting uh, strong benefits for the society, for the economy, for the democracy as well. So uh, there are three uh, main benefits that we envision for open data. The first is uh, to use uh, the uh, opening of the data as a lever to foster democracy. Uh, the second benefit is uh, to um, give, to empower citizens and to provide resources to um, stimulate uh, economic and uh, social innovation and to create value and also value for, for, again, for the economy and for business. And the third uh, benefit is to um, optimize public policies and to create more efficiencies uh, within the government itself because uh, it allows information to, um, to uh, circulate better, uh, to break silos between different departments. So um, these are the, the main benefits of uh, open data that we, that we strongly believe in and that we envision. Um, and uh, also open data uh, for the, the future, it's also a lever to promote uh, something a bit broader, which is open government. So, uh, meaning that with this open attitude, uh, you also uh, engage uh, the civil society and the citizen to take part to government decisions. Uh, so, there is citizen participation, there is more collaboration, and also uh, government and ministries and agencies, they are able to work uh, with uh, external uh, partners. So uh, startups, so it's, it's also new forms of collaborations um, and it's also uh, to be able to, to again better associate uh, stakeholders to uh, public policies. So that's um, one area where uh, also I see uh, an extension of, of just open data. And there is a second one uh, which is also the connection with um, also big data and the data analytics and uh, for instance in France uh, we created recently the role of state uh, chief data officer who happens to be the same uh, uh, person as the head of, of Etalab, the uh, Open Data Task Force. But the role will be a bit different and it will be uh, to um, uh, mainly to, to uh, use uh, data sets um, large data sets uh, and, and uh, new data mining uh, methodologies and, and skills to the benefit of public policies and uh, to the benefit of ministries themselves and uh, to have uh, data-driven decision-making and data-driven uh, public policies. So that's a second area where I could see open data developing in the future. Data Gebangul Yagi Halyanian, Monja Gongong Data of Moshinji Desa, Yil Jum Hapiroga Sumida. Gongong Data Nun, Jung Burul Puaman, Hengjung Kigandri, Bonine Ching Mudur Swing Hamenso, Suji Pagona, 
생성한 정보를 말합니다. 아, 이러한 공공 데이터는 현재까지는 어, 행정기관 또는 공공기관 내부 업무용으로만 사용되어 그 활용 범위가 좀 굉장히 제한적이었습니다. 그러나 최근 들어서 IT 기술이 발전하고 어, 데이터가 사회적 자본으로 인식되기 시작하면서 이 공공 데이터에 대한 활용 범위를 확대해야 된다는 목소리가 어, 높아지고 있습니다. 어, 실제로 어, 영국이나 미국을 비롯한 선진 각국 뿐만 아니라 세계 모든 국가들이 어, 공공 데이터 정책을 강력히 추진을 하고 있습니다. 어, 특히 기상, 교통, 통계와 같은 분야에 있어서는 어, 다양한 새로운 서비스들이 출현하고 어, 그 가시적인 성과를 어느 정도 느끼고 있습니다. 이와 같이 어, 공공 부분에서는 데이터를 개방하고 민간에서는 그 공공 데이터를 활용해서 어, 새로운 부가가치를 창출하자는 것이 어, 공공 데이터 개방입니다. 어, 공공 데이터 개방을 통해서 어, 경제적인 효과뿐만 아니라 어, 행정적, 사회적으로도 다양한 효과를 기대할 수가 있습니다. 먼저 행정적으로는 어, 정부가 가지고 있는 데이터를 서로 정부기관 간 또는 행정기관 간에 공유를 할수 있게 됨에 따라서 어, 그동안 불필요했던 행정업무라든가 필요없는 민원 등을 어, 축소함으로써 행정의 효율성을 어, 기대할 수가 있습니다. 또한 어, 행정기관 간 또는 공공기관 간에 데이터를 공유할 수 있게 됨에 따라 어, 협업기반의 어떤 정책결정 과정도 가져올 수가 있습니다. 어, 사회적으로는 어, 정부나 공공기관이 가지고 있는 데이터를 어, 민간에 개방하기 때문에 따라서 그동안 국민이 알지 못했던 궁금했던 사항들을 알수 있게 됨에 따라 국민, 국민의 알권리를 충족시켜 줄 수도 있고 어, 어떤 정부의 투명성을 높이는 데도 상당한 기여를 할 것으로 어, 생각이 됩니다. 또한 사회적으로 중요한 분야 중에 하나가 어, 공공 데이터가 개방이 되면 국민들이 정부 내에서 일어나는 일에 대해서 상당히 많은 정보를 알수 있게 됩니다. 어, 그걸 기반으로 해서 어떤 정부 내에 또는 행정기관 내에 어떤 정책의 결정 과정이나 집행 과정에 국민의 참여를 높일 수 있는 어떤 직접 민주주의의 향상도 우리가 기대할 수 있습니다. 마지막으로 경제적으로는 어쩌면 이게 공공 데이터의 궁극적인 목표일 수도 있습니다. 어, 공공 데이터가 민간이 개방이 되면 어, 민간이 가지고 있는 다양한 컨텐츠와 합쳐져서 어, 다양한 메시업 서비스가 어, 출현하게 될 것입니다. 어, 그리고 어, 고려한 공공 데이터를 이용해서 어, 민간에서 어떤 새로운 비즈니스 기회도 어, 많이 창출이 될 것으로 기대를 하고 있습니다. 어, 이러한 새로운 시장은 어, 수많은 어, 창조기업, 벤처기업을 탄생을 유도할 것으로 어, 기대를 합니다. 이를 통해서 궁극적으로는 국가 경쟁력 향상에도 어, 크게 기여를 할 것으로 생각을 합니다. 실제로 한국 정부에서는 어, 공공 데이터를 이용해서 2017년까지 약 24조 원의 어, 경제적 효과를 기대하고 있고 약 15만 개의 일자리가 창출될 것으로 기대를 하고 있습니다. 我个人浅见是这样 o p e n 是一种技术是一种 o p e n s o u r c e 的延伸也是一个可能的创新的架构应用 那data本身 它是一个content 它是一种材料石油它是一个创新的原料我觉得 o p e n Data 你你可以从国家的战略高度也可以从产业的角度到行业不过现在比较重要的是把人才培育好然后给他适度的预算环境然后筛选出一些有品质的资料用一种创新碰撞把这样的一个生态圈经营起来自然 Marketplace 产业就